Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Wendy Jo. Today is my two year anniversary of running this YouTube channel. I am here today to share with you some of the takeaways of working on this channel, um, you know, the things that I would do again and the things that I would absolutely not do. And also if you stick around to the end, there's some bonus content for you there. So let's get into it. Um, what are the three things that I have learned and what I would do differently if I was starting this channel today. Uh, the first thing I wanna say is that this is the hardest project I have ever worked on in my life. I said it, it may not be the popular opinion out there according to all of the gurus, but it is hard work to create a YouTube channel, especially one where you show your face on every video. If you do not love the niche that you are creating, your channel in and around, change it now. Change it at the beginning, do not wait. You will burn out because you have to enjoy talking about that content day in and day out, creating shorts, creating long videos, researching. It is important that you love your niche. I mean, I love this niche and I still got burnout. out. So that just tells you it's a lot of work. Uh, even though this is my second anniversary of starting this YouTube account, I actually only have spent about a year working on growing the channel. I posted my first video on July the 20th of 2020. I then spent the next nine months randomly creating content, trying to figure out my niche and my audience. I really wasn't focused on growing at that point. I was just kind of testing the waters. I think I thought that things might just take off, but they did not. In August of 2021 is when I really started creating content regularly for this account. And then in April of 2022, I reached complete and total burnout and didn't post hardly any content again until January of this year. So I truly believe that this channel would be in a completely different place if I had stuck with it, but you know, mental health, all that kind of stuff. So it is what it is. The second takeaway is this. When I started this channel, I was committed to not just being another talking head out there. I didn't even really start it to make money. I just wanted to share what I've learned working from home as a stay at home mom of five kids for the past 25 years. Uh, I didn't want to be out there selling my latest course and then pretending that all of my income had come from what I was teaching you in that course when it was really coming from the course that I was selling you, which is what a lot of people do on YouTube. I hate to admit it, but I was wrong on this. Um, in taking this route, I really cut my legs out from underneath of myself, so to speak, because I couldn't monetize this channel unless it hit the 4,000 watch hours because I had committed to not creating a course, not selling anything. So I do include affiliate links in my descriptions, but they're not high ticket items. So if I was doing it again, I don't know that I would have taken such a hard stance on this. The fact is I did make the money. I made the money from selling on Etsy, from having my own e-commerce store, from drop shipping, from YouTube faceless channels, et cetera. But I was too worried about OPO, which is other people's opinions, instead of just believing in myself and putting the blinders on. The fact of the matter is I underestimated two things. One was what it would take to actually grow an audience on a channel like this so that it could get monetized. And two, how much time it would take to create the content on a channel that required me to show my face. Now, if you're interested in growing a YouTube channel without showing your face, there is a link in my description for a course on growing a faceless YouTube channel. It's not my course, but I am an affiliate for the program and I do recommend it. Uh, if that's how you want to earn passive income, it is definitely worth the time and the investment for that. Eventually, this channel will be a stream of passive income as well, but for now it's requiring about 50% of my work time each week to grow it, which when you have eight streams of income, uh, that's a lot of work. So. Um, as far as how to grow an audience, there is really no magic formula to growing it. I have had a couple of videos that went semi-viral, but nothing really crazy. And the content that did go semi-viral had a very specific target audience. Now it was in my niche, but I just didn't have a ton of content that would then draw that same audience back into my channel. So I have gained several hundred followers from that one viral-ish video but I don't know how often they actually return to my channel to view 
my other videos. I have created more content since then around that niche, but still not enough that I feel like it draws in that particular audience. So really my audience return percentage kind of sucks to be honest, but um, hopefully that will grow as well. So on this channel, I do teach how to earn passive income from home. It's a very popular niche with, niche with a very high CPM, um, which CPM is just how much advertisers will pay per thousand clicks on your channel. But I still haven't figured out what is gonna actually draw my audience in the most and keep them coming back. I can spend hours on a video and get like 30 views, or I can spend 30 minutes creating a video and get 500 or 1,000 views, which is still nowhere near where the views need to be, but you get the idea. The best thing I can recommend is just be yourself. Uh, keep posting and eventually your audience and your vibe will start to flow and you'll hit that 4,000 watch hours and be monetized. The last thing I wanna say is if you're creating a YouTube channel to earn income from home, do incorporate a high ticket item that you're selling from the very beginning and cross promote that on Pinterest, TikTok, and other social media platforms. This is what I did not do on this channel. You don't have to be the creator of the high ticket item, but you just have to find one. Uh, go to ClickBank or Digistore24 and find a product on there, do some research, something that you can actually get behind and start promoting it. And when you do that from the very beginning, even if your channel isn't monetized for ad revenue, you can still be making money from that affiliate link. Uh, it obviously, you know, the product's gonna need to be in your niche, so you don't wanna be selling anything to do with finance if your whole channel's about cooking, but you could sell a cooking course or a cookbook or something like that, you get the idea. But this will help keep you motivated as you try to grow your channel because, you know, you'll be making a little bit of money from that and your bank account will stay happy as well as you grow your channel. So if you've made it this far, it's time for some bonus tips. Number one, I included a link to get uh, for you to get my free ebook on how to earn passive income in the description. It's completely free, no strings attached. Second thing is, when you are building your channel, you need to look at it like you're building a brand. You are promoting an idea and everything in your channel should point back to that. You're not just posting videos. You really need to think about your branding and who you are, what you stand for, what problems you're solving, and create a brand around that. Third bonus tip is I have just started listing PLR products for sale. I only have one up there right now. Maybe by the time you watch this video, there will be several more. PLR stands for private label rights. And as you guys know, a while back, we were kicked off of Etsy, not allowed to sell ever again on there. And we have been trying to figure out a way of selling and promoting and getting our products out there without actually selling on Etsy. And this is like the best of both worlds because my products can still be sold on Etsy, just not by me. <laughs> so PLR, basically what it is, is it's a product that you can take, you can edit, and then you can turn around and resell it as your own with your own branding, etc. And whenever you purchase one of my PLR products, obviously you can use it yourself, but you can edit it and then sell the finished product as your own. So uh, if you're interested in that, there is a link to that in the description as well. Um, and the fourth and final bonus tip is I am creating a mentorship program. It's very much in the baby stages, the beginning of all of it, but I am doing this. The first one will include a self-paced video series on how to start making money with affiliate marketing. I chose this niche because it takes no money to start. You do not have to create a product to sell and you can market for free using the techniques that I'm gonna show you in the course. If you want to join the waiting list for that, then just click the link in the description and you will be signed up and be notified before it goes public so that you can jump into that mentorship. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching and a huge special thank you to those who continue to come back and watch my content and interact and share. Uh, you guys are the best and I will talk to you soon. Bye.